Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. Thank you for joining us today. And if you're not part of the Calvary family yet, we're happy that you found us here. Scott here. I'm one of the tech team leaders here at Calvary, and I have the honor of bringing you your word for the day today. We're going to be talking about why you do what you do. As we're rounding the corner in the book of Colossians, we're coming to the end of chapter 3, and we are finishing with one of my favorite things that Paul explains to us here at the end of the chapter. I'll be highlighting chapter 3, starting here in verse 23 in the Bible in the ESV. Whatever you do, work heartedly, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ, for the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. Boy, that last verse there. We get a reminder about doing wrong and the consequences, which is always a great reminder and something that we should keep close to our hearts at all times. The part that I want us to focus on here is, who are you working for? Are you working for your boss? Are you working for your spouse? Are you working because your parent reminded you of the consequences of not doing that chore? At Calvary, I get the privilege of working with a ton of great volunteers. And if you're watching this today and one of those volunteers, I just want to say thank you. We appreciate you so much. We couldn't do God's mission here at Calvary without you. That's first. Second, I want you to understand a little bit about why we serve here at Calvary and the heart behind what we do and why we serve. In the scripture here, Paul is reminding us that everything we do, we need to do for the Lord, no matter how big or how small. When you join the tech team, it's not about how smart you are or how quick you can think on your feet. For us, it's about using technology to create an environment where we can all worship the Lord together. When we serve, we're not only trying to, we're not trying to show off our talents. We're not trying to show off our holiness exterior with acts as Pastor Pete reminded us last weekend. We give our time and our talent back to the Lord for his glory. So let me ask you, if we're going to give our time and our talent back to the Lord, shouldn't we give him our very best? Shouldn't we give him our best as a thank you to him? I want you to know that you are loved and cared for. And even if you think that you don't have any talent, I know that you do. And so does God. I want to encourage you to seek and find that talent and then use it for the Lord and his glory. Then sit back and watch what he can do in your life. Calvary. I hope you're inspired to do what you do for the Lord. And on those days when you're wore down and maybe not feeling quite as inspired to do what you do, just remember the love that Jesus has for you and what he gave up for you and the promise of heaven that he has for you. Wouldn't you love to give back to him? Do it every day in every way. Love you, Calvary. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.